Hi guys! So, first of all, I have this little man joining me today. Say hi! <laughs> he is cold, so he's got his jumper on. But this is Cody. I don't know if you guys have seen him in our videos. We have a love-hate relationship with him. <laughs> but, um, he's freezing. I feel so sorry for him, so I had to go find his jersey, and he's cuddling up with me at the moment. Say hi! So somebody asked me on Facebook if the boys have the same fathers. And the answer is, no they don't. So I thought that I would elaborate a little bit on that and let you guys know our experience and how we work things, I guess. So when I was 17, I kind of got into one of those sort of silly relationships where um, I kind of thought everything was fine, but I don't think it really was. And I fell pregnant. Um, and when I found out that I was pregnant, the father was like, eh, not really for me, and took off. So, um, we hadn't been together very long, and to be honest, I wasn't overly phased. I'd always wanted to be a mother, and I was like, it's just you and me now, baby. Um, I have done a video, um, one of my Throwback Thursdays, if you go back, it's called Just the Two of Us. I'll link it below. And it's kind of about how I got pregnant, and, well, we all know how I got pregnant, but kind of just the situation around that, and my pregnancy, and all that kind of thing with Jaden. So, Twelfth of September 2008, I gave birth to Jaden. I had seen the father twice through the pregnancy, but generally he showed no interest. And um, once Jaden was born, I kind of meant to let him know, but um, I kind of just wanted to settle and get into a routine first. And then he got hold of me, and things kind of went sour for a little bit, but um, when Jaden was about two weeks old, I think he met him. From the age of from when he was born to about... Five, so the first five years of Jaden's life, he would contact me once or twice a year, like maximum, um, asking if he could see Jaden. Now, I could have been one of those parents that said, no, you show no interest, you're not his father, blah, blah, blah. But I was like, no, I'm going to do what's right for my son. And it wasn't my decision to make. Jaden didn't ask for this situation. And so I pretty much parented on my own with Jaden, like I was a solo mum, and then once or twice a year he would get in touch with me, and I would always say, yeah, whatever. So he would come to my mum's, meet me at my mum's, and um, visit Jaden. We always took photos of them together, if there was any um, new information about his family, he'd let me know, so I could document it all for Jaden when he got older. And um, that's kind of how it worked for the first five years of Jaden's life. I never once lied to Jaden, I was always very truthful with Jaden, um, Jaden always knew about his dad, um, I never bagged his dad in front of him, I, anything said was always positive in front of Jaden, I just, like I said, I felt that this was not Jaden's fault and he didn't deserve to be made to feel abandoned or to made to feel like I wasn't going to lie to him um, about his dad or anything like that. So when Jaden would ask me about his dad or anything like that, I would just say, yeah, he loves you very much, he's just busy working, or he lives far away, but, you know, he, he rang up last night when you were asleep, and all that kind of thing. Now, um, I would say things like that just so, you know, so he didn't feel abandoned and all that kind of thing. So, um, Jaden was always very confident and very open and, and just... Uh, he never showed any issues towards um, the situation and I think it's generally because of how we all approached it and when people asked him about his dad he always said to them I've got a dad but I've got a really cool granddad and I thought that was really cool my granddad kind of um, took him under his wing and kind of taught him things that a boy needs to know and just spent a lot of time with him and so he still had that positive role model um, and like we would lie in bed and I'd like he'd even be asleep and I'd be like stroking his head saying you know you've got a dad and his name is this and that da, da, da. I just always wanted Jaden to know of him I didn't want him to turn 18 and he knew nothing or lies came out or anything like that so for the first five years of Jaden's life he didn't really see his dad very much but he always knew of him um and he was very, he was a happy little boy and always happy with the situation and I made sure he never felt um, left out or abandoned or anything like that. When Jaden was three and a half, I met my now husband who, and they, they took to each other like crazy. Like they loved each other straight away and Jono's family loved him straight away. So Jaden 
from the get-go of this relationship, Jaden has always been made to feel a part of it. Um, and when we fell pregnant with Bentley, Jaden did have a few questions. Um, he wanted to know who the baby's dad was, if the baby would always see his dad. And of course I was honest, I said, you know, Joe jo knows his dad, and yes, this baby's going to have his dad, blah, blah, blah. But I would turn around and go, but you're lucky because now you have a real dad. Um, another dad, which I'll go into in a minute, and a granddad, and he was just always so happy. He thought that he was just the luckiest person in the world, you know. And there was no jealousy when um, Bentley came along at all. Like, Jaden would say, oh, that's your dad, you know, and I've got a dad, but he's working, and all this kind of stuff. So I think because I was always so honest from the very beginning, everything has just been so smooth. Um, Bentley... Oh, so Jaden calls Jono, Jono, now and then he will call him dad, and now and then I will say to him, can you go and tell your dad, you know, but um, when Jaden first started calling him dad now and then, or when he would say, can I call him dad, I would say, yeah, you sure can, but just remember, you know, you've got two dads, you've got your real dad and this dad, so I always wanted him to know, um, now these days he is seven, if he calls him dad, I don't do that, like, I know that he knows now, so I don't correct him or pull him up. We're very happy with what he chooses to call Jono. Jono treats him like his own. Um, and so the situation at home, um, in that respect, is good. There's been no conflict, no, you know, Jono treats him fairly with Bentley. Everything's fair. Um, you know, they love just as much. They treated the same. They are, everything's good like that. Um, Jaden and Bentley, there's no conflict, there's no jealousy or anything like that. Um, Jaden is very open to Bentley and, like I said, calls, you know, says that's your dad and all that kind of thing. Um, and I just really have not had any issues. I can't think of any times I've had issues and I put that down to putting my baby first right from the beginning. I don't care how I felt towards his dad. I don't care um, what kind of ill feelings I... I never really had ill feelings towards him though, but you know what I mean, like, I just, I didn't care how I was feeling that day or anything like that, Jaden came first, Jaden deserved to know his father, and so I, I let him know his dad, you know, and I always thought when he gets older he can make his own decisions, that's not for me to do, so never, no lies, um, and always just letting him know and encouraging him to you know, let him know that he was allowed to love his dad and know his dad and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm very lucky also that when I met Jono, I told him the situation and said, look, he's not really around much, but when he is, I do allow it. And Jono was absolutely fine with that and um, he's always been 100% um, supportive in how I choose to work that situation. So at home and... For Jaden's sake and everything, everything's really, really good on that front. And I hope it carries on to be that way. Um, <clears throat> I'll always carry on to be open and honest with Jaden. When Jaden turned five, Jaden came to me one day and asked if he could see his dad. So I got in contact with his dad and said, Jaden wants to see you. Like I said, I would always do what's best for Jaden. That's what Jaden wanted. So I was like, fine. Um, and ever since then... I mean, the contact's not regular, but it's been a lot better. Um, he rings Jaden probably once every two, three months, maybe. Um, he's kind of up and down the country doing his own thing. And Jaden um, talks to him on the phone, loves to talk to him on the phone. He also has a sister, so he loves talking to her. Sometimes when he asks Jaden if Jaden wants to go there, sometimes Jaden says yes, and like an hour later, I'll get a phone call and he's ready to come home. And, um... Sometimes he'll say no, he doesn't want to, he's just not feeling um, good about it, or he just doesn't want to go, or we're doing something, and his dad's really good about that too. So, I, as far as everything goes now, Jaden's dad, I feel like I'm saying Jaden's dad, Jaden's dad, Jaden's dad, but I do not want to say his name, but j um, he, here we go again, Jaden's dad, um, he's been very on the same page as us, he's been very grateful towards Jono, he's expressed his kind of gratefulness towards Jono for kind of doing the hard yards with Jaden um, and being there. He so far respects kind of the boundaries, like I was saying, he knows that Jaden is in control of the situation. I always said to him, it's not me, it's not you, Jaden controls the situation when it comes to this, he makes the rules what he does and doesn't want. He doesn't call him dad, yet he calls him his real dad. 
but he also doesn't call Jono dad very much either, like, and um, Jaden's real dad is okay with that, he understands that, you know, Jaden's just never had that bond, or he's never had that word kind of used on an everyday basis, so he doesn't really use that word, it's just his name, and then he calls Jono, Jono, so, um, for now, as we are today, Jaden is seven years old, and everything still runs real smoothly. Um, when I do hear from him, I say to Jaden, do you want to go see him? It's either yes or no, or do you want to ring him, or anything like that. Jaden's never ever showed issues. As he gets older, maybe he may decide um, that he wants more to do with him, or he doesn't, or he could turn into one of those teenagers that me and Jono might upset him one day, like, you know, lay down the law about something he'll be like right I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go and see my dad you know and it's we just have to take that as it comes um like I said Jaden will always be in control of that situation that's not my rule that's not my situation to um control and it's not his real dad situation um obviously if I ever saw any danger there or anything like that I would but I don't know what's to come in the future but for now the last seven years have gone pretty smoothly and I think that's because I've always had Jaden's best interest at heart and I'm very lucky that his dad kind of feels the same way. He knows that he hasn't really been there and he doesn't try to take control or anything like that. So as for Jaden's last name, he is my maiden last name. Um, like I'm married now, but he took my name. And when he, he understands why he has that, um, he didn't have much to do with his dad when he was born. And I just felt like he would kind of have a name that he may not have much to do with. Like at the time, I didn't know. What the situation would turn out to be. So he has my maiden last name. He thinks that's pretty cool. Now and then he'll ask about Bentley's last name, why they're different, and I just explain it. And he thinks it's cool that he's got the same last name as his granddad. People do ask if I will allow Jono to adopt him. We won't be doing that unless Jaden asked for it himself when he's old enough to make that decision. Um, but I would I don't want I, we're not really comfortable with that situation. Um, things are good how it is at the moment. I don't really see what adoption would kind of change anything apart from the last name. And we always thought if Jaden gets older and wants to have the same last name as me and um, his brothers or sister, whatever this baby's going to be, anything like that, then when he gets older, he can change his name. That's fine. But for now, he has got um, my maiden last name. And as well, that's his... That's his decision to make when he is old enough and understands kind of about that situation then he can make his mind up so that is the answer to that question i hope i didn't ramble too much but um and i talked very fast but i have actually done this video five times today camera keeps going flat bentley's coming in and out and i was like i just need to sit down and film this so that is the answer to that if you guys have any questions about anything um, generally I'm happy to answer most questions so please leave it down below or go onto my Facebook and ask me or anything like that. Alright guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Oh, Stella in pyjamas. <laughs> Bye guys.